in the back there. Caitlin Burke with CBN News. So with no religious exemptions granted so far for the COVID vaccine, there's concern that mil members of the military have been stripped of their religious liberties. Can you just speak to that? I know you have in the sure, past. Sure. And to why that exemption is so rarely granted. Yeah. Um, you're right. There haven't been any religious exemptions granted by the services. I would ask you to to speak to the services about their exemption policies. That's not something that's centrally managed at, at, uh, at the secretary's level. Um, th they are always rare. Re religious exemptions uh, for medical, mil military medical requirements are, are just, they are typically historically very rare. Uh, I can't speak to each and every case. Again, I'd, I'd point you to the services. Um, but this has absolutely nothing to do with uh, with trampling on the religious liberties of uh, our men and women in uniform. I mean, one of the things that when you sign up to serve in the military, one of the many things that you you sign up to defend is is uh, the right to to worship, the the, the right to or not to worship. Um, and we obviously respect that uh, inside the ranks of the military. That's why the services each have chaplain corps, uh, you know, corps of people dedicated to looking after the spiritual needs of, uh, of men and women in uniform as well as their families. So uh, th this is not about, it's not about liberties. Um, it's about uh, a military medical requirement to keep them safe to keep their family safe, to keep their units safe. Um, and the secretary uh, continues to strongly believe that, that these, vac these vaccines are uh, the best way to do it with respect, with respect to COVID. Uh, and just because none have been approved doesn't mean that uh, they can't still be applied for. Uh, as we've said in the past, and not, not everybody, look, there'll be some medical exemptions and people that, whose doctors won't, you know, don't want them to get the vaccine.